Hello and welcome everyone to Gold Asset of the Day for the 25th of August 2020 presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So now we're heading into the last week of August. It has been an absolutely phenomenal month and also a fantastic quarter as well. As you we mentioned in the week ahead commodity report, we've seen silver prices increase by over 50% in the latest two months here. We've also seen gold prices increase by over 12%. Palladium, we've had a significant breakout again last week, a quick thousand point move for us, which in terms of profitability, each one lot contract that you have on a breakout like that on Palladium equals 10,000 US dollar per contract. And of course, if you're in at 10 lots on a trade like that, it's 100,000 US dollars just in the matter of a couple of days there on Palladium. Very lucrative market that we've talked you through in detail on the week ahead commodity report as well over the last couple of weeks. And also, of course, gold, which has been very lucrative for us just to get in and out of this market, capitalize on the range here, banking again another 600 points last week. Each one lot traded on that market, $6,000 profit. If you're trading at 10 lots, that's $60,000 just within the matter of a few days. And we've said it before, but the moves that we're seeing in the markets right now, normally these can take several months or years to see these sort of percentage moves, like a 50% move on silver, which we've seen over a couple of months. These sort of moves are happening within the matter of several weeks right now. The sort of breakouts that we've seen on gold and palladium recently as well, typically those sort of moves they would take several months to materialize. We're seeing it happen again just within the matter of 48 hours. So it's been incredibly lucrative to benefit on the volatility right now. And that is really the name of the game at the moment. Being nimble, make sure that you're taking your profit off the table when you see these big breakouts, when you get a breakout to all time highs, and when you're seeing key levels of liquidity get hit, hedge funds, money managers, institutions, they are very fast to bank their profits. And often, in fact, them banking profits causes a very quick reversal in price action, where if you're not quick, and if you're not able to bank fast, and you don't have access to information and data quickly, you're going to end up either getting out a, a loss on a trade, or you're going to just get chopped up and therefore take nothing away from a potentially profitable trade where you would have been much better off just having access to a research driven approach where you can capitalize quickly on the day to day volatility that we're seeing in the markets right now. As you know, currently market conditions are very event driven and this week we have the Federal Reserve meeting later on in the week with Jerome Powell at the Jackson Hole Symposium. So this is going to provide, again, lots of great short term opportunities here on the metals to trade the ranges, trade the volatility. Then as we head into September, we have non-farm payrolls next week. The week after that, the European Central Bank announcement. Week after that, the FOMC statement. And of course, then we start to move into the end of quarter profit taking at the end of September. And then we're going to be getting closer to the US election, which is going to be a very specific trade opportunity on that event, but also in the lead up to that event as well. So right now is a fantastic time to, of course, learn a research driven approach so that you do have an edge in the market. So essentially for this week, what I would be paying a lot of attention to is, of course, this major news item later on in the week on Thursday. We want to see what the overall narrative is going to be from the Federal Reserve. The minutes from the FOMC last week and the last FOMC statement, both of those news items really failed to deliver any new news to the markets with respect to future monetary policy guidance. So both of those events have not seen an additional wave of quantitative easing, additional stimulus in the market or any major change in narrative. As such, markets have been disappointed by those events and we have subsequently seen profit taking and big sell offs in the metal so far from both the minutes of the FOMC and the FOMC statement previously. But what we want to watch out for is whether there's going to be any shift in rhetoric from the Fed later on this week. And of course, that's where you can see these explosive moves on the metals, both to the upside and to the downside. And again, this is where you need to know the key levels, key levels of liquidity, the areas that the hedge funds, the market makers are targeting right now, where you can capitalize on this range bound price action, which can be very lucrative. And then when you do get these big breakouts, you can also get on the back of those moves by looking and observing what the hedge funds, the money managers are doing right now as well. So that's really where you're going to get an edge in the markets currently. I'll go into silver in a lot more detail on silver asset of the day, but going back to what I mentioned on the week ahead commodity report, gold right now, as long as it can hold above 1,900 US dollars per ounce on a closing basis, this is going to be building up a base. We've been consolidating for a couple of weeks after the breakout to all time highs, the subsequent correction, usually you want to be looking at a consolidation after that, trade the range, but then effectively you want to be looking out for 1900 to hold on a closing basis. 
in terms of maintaining the bullish upward trend in the short term, then if we are to get a break and a close back above 1,960 US dollars per ounce, this is where we can make a move back towards the recent swing highs and really capitalize on the next big uplink here for the metals. So with that, that's been the week ahead commodity report. If you would like to learn a research driven approach to the markets where you will get an edge, where you're not going to be using 100% technical analysis, where many traders are getting chopped up at the moment or they're missing entire moves, just click in the link below today's report in order to make an application to become a member of the Gold and Silver Club.